Hello, in this video we're going to solve and graph the IS curve. We have an economy with the following. We've got the consumption function, the investment function, and government purchases. R is going to be the real interest rate measured in percent. And we're going to assume that taxes equal $200. So we're going to solve and graph the IS curve. So the goods market equilibrium is characterized by the following condition. So we're going to substitute in our C, I, and G into this equation down here on the right-hand side. Doing that, we have the following. And now we're just going to simplify it a little bit. So this 0 0.75 multiplied by Y and then minus 200. We get the following. Adding up some of these terms, 500 minus 150 plus 400 plus 200 gives us 950. and then subtracting 0.75y from both sides. The left-hand side now will be 0.25y. And dividing through by 0.25, we have our IS equation. Or we could solve this equation for R, which may make sense since we're going to graph this. We have R, the real interest rate, on the y-axis and real output on the x-axis. So here we have our IS equation, IS curve. So let's go ahead and graph it. So just rewriting that last equation. And I'm just going to plug in various values for Y, real output. So if we plug in 3,720, the real interest rate is 1%. If we plug in 3,600, the real interest rate is 2.5. And plug in one more value here. For real output at 3,400, the real interest rate is 5%. And so if we're to graph those points, we have our downward sloping IS curve. And what I did here on the x-axis, I just put the real output in thousands. So 3.4 is 3,400. 3.72 is 3,720, which corresponds to our real interest rate of 1%. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.